Ah, ya busqué la Yala. A uh, Master Student at the Universidad de, de Pernambuco en Recife, Brasil. And I will present to you our work titled A, Common, a Comparison of Human or Robot Simulators, a Quantitative Approach. I will talk about the inspiration of our work, a brief definition of what is a simulation software, uh, which tax was performed to evaluate each simulator, the resource required for the execution of the simulations, and finally, the closure of our work. Uh, implementing a robotic solution is a costly and time-consuming process where a robot simulator uh, let us evaluate the simulation behavior performance under a controlled environment, avoiding accidents. In development robotics, uh, the robot simulators are widely used to simplify the experimental analysis. There are many simulation tools for different kinds of robots. A large number of mathematical creations uh, must be reproduced in order to reproduce real-world aspects. A uh, simulation requires a determined amount of resource and even a higher amount for a human robot, given the number of joints that must be operated. Previous analysis hardly considered quantitative comparisons. In this work, we compare the CPU, memory footprint, and disk usage during the execution of a human robot navigation task for the Gazebo, Webots, and BRAP simulators. Uh, BRAP, uh, since um, November of 2019, it has been replaced by Copelius in version 4.0. Uh, many previous works compare the simulators in qualitative aspects, discriminating them between physics engines and simulation systems. The physics engines at the left side of the figure uh, are capable of modeling the physics dynamic systems such as particles or contacts. Uh, by the other hand, uh, the simulation systems are there at the right side of the figure uh, are the development environment software which facilitates the definition of a simulation scene and its development. Another interesting software is the robot operating system, which is a framework to develop robot software, isolating how the robot's controller must be operated, being useful to create application programming interfaces and use it with different languages. In our work, we use the Open Dynamic Engine software to evaluate the simulation system since it has been proven to be the most consistent fixed engine. And the selected software to comparison are the Placebo, Wibots, and Bureau Simulator for being the best evaluated simulation software in previous works. So for Gazebo, uh, it is, it is an open source software that provides realistic sets of feedback uh, developed by increasing use of robot vehicles. It is designed to reproduce the dynamic of the environment accurately and to be used in a distributed modular architecture, being executed through two processors, uh, where one is the server and the other one is the client. At uh, the right side, we have the Gazebo 3D shape the scene uh, for our, our tax. Uh, Webots uh, is a software which uh, has become open source uh, recently, since December 2018. Uh, presents an uh, easy to use and uh, friendly interface to model, program, and simulate robots. And additionally, it can compile the source code of the robot's algorithm inside the inside its interface, uh, making it possible to test and validate the algorithm quickly. Uh, uh, BREP uh, is a generic robot simulation software that allows embedded controllers and functionality into simulation models in different programming languages. Uh, it presents a broad uh, models library that can be useful to develop and see in just a few of minutes considering the environmental elements on the robot itself, uh, being widely used in both the academic and the industrial fields. Um, to evaluate the simulation requirements, we choose the now human on robot uh, uh, to perform a navigation task where it must reach a goal position. Uh, this must avoid an obstacle in between. Uh, this task was executed 20 times for each simulator in order to obtain a statistical measurement. During the task execution, the now must go around a share, which is considered the obstacle to reach the goal position, as can be seen here at the image. Um, uh, this task let, let us evaluate the simulator on their many turns and movement made by the robot. In this way, we can measure the workload required by each simulator 
to perform the tasks in terms of CPU, memory footprint, and disk use. And now is a human robot uh, used mainly for education and research purpose. It was developed in 2008 by Aldebaran Robotics, which now is a Softman Robotics Group subsidiary company. Presents the ability to perceive the environment from a broad kind of sensor like cameras, Microsoft, and tactile, among others. Uh, also includes expression elements like uh, 50, uh, 53 RGB LEDs, uh, possess a voice interfacer and two speakers, which give it a high degree of interaction. Interaction. Support a variety of programming language to configure its behavior. And additionally, the choreograph software allow interactive action programming using a flow diagram. It can work online with the robot hardware, keeping dialogues and capturing the element recognized through its camera. To measure each evaluation component, we use a new monitor system, which is a support capable of obtaining information about the resource and used by a process in execution at every moment. The current CPU and memory user visualizing in real time graph and the occupied hard disk space. Uh, also, the IOTOP monitor is a software uh, which provides that provides information about the existing disk usage by a process or a sub process in the system and is useful to track those processes that present a high risk grade operation in the hard drive unit. All the simulators were configured in a VirtualBox uh, version 2 virtual machine uh, set up with the uh, Intel Core i5 uh, at 2.3 GHz, uh, 6 GB of memory, and a hard drive Hitachi SATA 2 at 7200 uh, revolution per minute hard disk drive. The selected OS was Ubuntu 18.04. Due to its broad community support and compatibility with the simulation software and BOSS. Uh, the now behavior was executed by each simulator separately, separately to measure each evolution component. Each component presents the same impact in the overall comparison. Also, with this, we are mean that all the components are equally weighted. So, in terms of CPU load, as can we see in the figure, we would achieve the lowest mean value with 11% of use, followed by VREP, which use almost twice of CPU with 20%, and finally the CIVO uh, with 42% mean CPU use, as can we see in the figure at the right. Uh, now, in terms of the memory footprint, which is represented in megabytes, uh, the build simulation achieved the second best, second best with an average of 2220 megabytes, no, sorry, 212 megabytes with, with a stable memory requirement. Uh, opposite observation can be observed for Weebots and Gazebo. Uh, nevertheless, Weebots achieved less variation of in memory with an average of 176 megabytes requirement between each execution uh, then Gazebo that which present an average of two, uh, two, two, 203 megabytes uh, so with the, the uh, in terms of disk usage uh, pres presented as transaction allocated for disk read write access all the simulation requires a low amount of disk transactions. Uh, however, the weapons require almost no disk usage with a mean disk use of 0.12%, followed by the C1 viewer with almost 6% and 8% respectively. Uh, summarizing the results of the 20 execution, we can observe in the figure that uh, both CPU and disk usage have a remarkable variation among simulators. Uh, it can be interpreted that robots uh, can simulate efficiently considering the non existence of the hard disk access bottleneck and the fewer CPU load, which is in between of 10 and 12 percent, and memory requirement, which is uh, between 170 and 180 megabytes. In comparison, 
Dural requires more CPU, a present a higher deep usage, however the memory footprint is stable over all the ROMs. And finally, Gazebo is the simulator that requires the most resources, will require less deep usage than the rest. So as conclusion, uh, robotic research presents a high computational cost in its development to show the feasibility of its implementation in real-world scenarios. In this work, we compare the Gazebo, Vivot, and VRF simulation system, evaluating the CPU memory footprint and deep access access during the execution of a navigation task performed by a now human robot. The compared simulator presents similar qualitative characteristics like the programming language interfaces, the use of all the physics engine, and the capability to control the robot externally. The quantitative results show that we would obtain the best score in simulating the now robot, requiring fewer resources. However, BRAP represents present a stable use of memory and a large repository of simulation models. Finally, Gazebo requires, requires almost the same amount of resource considering the use of two processes. Future research directions can consider other metrics like uh, time, difference, physics engines, or another simulator. Additionally, some different scenarios or tasks can be considered where other aspects are involved, like path planning, hyper schematics, and collision avoidance. Moreover, uh, for a fire comparison, can be considered uh, different weights between each evaluated component and also include qualitative access aspects. Thank you for your attention.